Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex or Nuznas here. It's been a while since I've said that. It's also my first time speaking on the newly released skill and combat style, Necromancy, which just came out 48 hours ago. Now, usually with skill releases, players tend to try to rush up levels and experience all the new content, but for me, I played this release a little bit differently. In this video, you'll see how I made almost 1 billion gold from basically starting with pretty much nothing in one day on Necromancy release. Now, keep in mind this was release day so most if not all of these methods are not working anymore and they were extremely volatile even when they were working. I was actually invited to Jagex to test necromancy but wasn't able to go because I couldn't get a passport in time and had some other issues going on so I avoided most videos and went into necromancy pretty much completely blind. I decided I would commit the entire release day to exploring and seeing how much money I could make off necromancy. While tons of players were rushing for the high scores I decided let's just play it chill and see what kind of money we can make. To start off I did the opening quest and straight away it was really cool. I really enjoyed the area. It felt like I was kind of transported into a new sort of necromancy place. It, it really just felt nice. It felt exciting. So right away when I did that quest I started making some lesser necroplasm and seeing what it was selling for. It was actually selling for some decent money I think because a lot of people were trying to get it right off the bat. This meant every ritual I was making like one mil or so. Now this method ended up being one of the you know lower methods that we actually did. Um, I then started Started creating some of the ink for necromancy XP and it was actually kind of profitable to make early on. You got necromancy XP, you can bind ashes with a vial of water with some ink and you'd make um, or with some necroplasm and you'd make some of that ink and this got me through some of the early levels and got me a good bit of cash. I think we turned, you know, we made four or five mil from the necroplasm and then we turned that into maybe 10, 15 mil making the ink. Now if you think this is where we stopped though, this is just the beginning. I ended up finding some of the most insane money makers I've ever witnessed. So on release day, everything is just so volatile. There's not many resources in the game and there's many players trying to buy items for extreme high prices to get ahead in the race to 99 or 120 or just to get a little bit of a head start. This is what you look to take advantage of on a release of a new skill. I played archaeology sort of like this. Instead of rushing to get like 99 or 120, I sort of just looked how I could chill, explore some of the new content while also trying to make some money. Uh, and that was exactly what my plan was for this. Now I ended up making quite a bit of cash just making the necroplasm and selling it. I didn't want my entire release day to just be making necroplasm though. so. I decided to do some quests and unlock rune crafting and see if I could make a little bit of money from that. And uh, we ended up making money, but not how you think. So once you complete the rune mythos quest, you're able to craft the new runes from necromancy, which are the flesh, spirit, bone, and miasma runes. Now this is crafted with the new impure essence, which can be made from rituals. I ended up crafting some of this, but then deciding to buy it and do some rune crafting that way. So I wasn't making rituals all the time. And I was actually making a good bit of money just rune crafting but it was nothing insane it was good don't get me wrong but it wasn't that crazy but this one I accidentally kind of stumbled into one of the best money makers I've ever found now keep in mind now this actually loses you money and does not work but it did work for a brief 30 minutes uh, which you'll see now so uh, this is super early on and I saw that miasma runes could actually be ground into uh, ground miasma runes and I wasn't really sure what this was for uh, but I did it and I sold it and it ended up instant selling for 25k almost double the price of the rune. That doesn't really make any sense, right? Surely that was just somebody buying a few. Well, I ground and sold some more and they just kept on selling. So I was like, okay, this seems like really easy money. So then I thought back to years ago when I remember the telekinetic grind spell was released for Lunars. Now this spell made it so you could grind 60 items in one click and it worked on mud runes so I thought maybe it'll work here. I tried it out and sure enough it did work and I could grind thousands of miasma runes within minutes. As you can see by the GE history, I ended up taking full advantage of this and ended up doing it until it basically stopped. I made almost 100 mil within like 10 minutes. Uh, this probably took me, like I said, 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, no concentration, really nothing. Just ground a few runes and we ended up making our 20 mil into like 100 mil. I mean, it was like we were doubling our money every time I would buy 20 mil worth of runes. I would grind them up and sell them for 40 mil. It just felt too good to be true. And like I thought, with 
within, you know, 10 minutes, uh, they started selling for less than the rune. So I guess somebody just wanted to buy a bunch of them early on and we were uh, able to take advantage of that. I know they're used to make the extreme necromancy potions, so maybe that's why, but yeah, this was a crazy find and it really boosted us up from like 20 mil to like 150 mil, which was super nice. So after this, I took my 150 mil and I did a little bit of the same thing where I did some rune crafting. I got some of the necroplasm and I made it up to around 200 mil. But after this is when I kind of discovered uh, the way that I made most of my money, which is through the necromancy armor and weapons. So if you don't know that you can actually level up your armor and weapons through upgrading them. But the thing is, you actually can just buy them and use them once you have um, the necromancy level and complete the task. You don't actually have to to go and upgrade the armor yourself so you can actually buy it which meant a lot of people that were racing to try to get high in the stat uh, were looking to just buy some of the armor and weapons instead of going and spending all the time to make it themselves but the real key thing about this um, was that the armor was kind of overlooked a lot of people would upgrade their weapons but the armor required you know you had to upgrade all five pieces of it and it required thread and different things that made it a little bit more of a pain to to upgrade yourself so what I did was I made a few tier 30 pieces early on and I tested selling them in the GE for a few mil first I sold some tier 30 pieces for three to four mil each I eventually ended up selling an offhand I think for eight mil and I was like okay these are super easy to make and this is some pretty decent money right now um, so I made a little bit off that and then I went and actually I trained up my necromancy um, doing combat and stuff and got all the way up to level 60 now this is at the point where the money just changed so I went and I made some tier 50 armor pieces sold them sold about for about 10 15 mil each which I was really surprised at uh, I made a good amount of money I think I made the full set and sold it for like maybe 70 mil for the whole set or so, which brought me up to, you know, near three, 350 mil made from the release. And this is kind of where I thought it would end, where I thought kind of my day would end. It was almost towards nighttime and I was like, okay, probably get off soon and this is it. But then what happened was I ended up making one piece of tier 60 armor because I was curious what it sold for. I put it in the GE and it sold for like 40 mil. I was like, okay, this is way too good. Let me see if I can make more of this. So the problem I had was upgrading to a tier 60. You have to first get a tier 10, make it tier 20, tier 30, tier 40, tier 50, all the way to tier 60. It just takes a while and a ton of materials. So I thought, hey, maybe I could just buy tier 50s from people selling them and just upgrade it one tier and make some profit off of that so what i did was i put an offer bought a bunch of tier 50 stuff for 10 to 20 mil or so and i ended up making that expecting them to sell for like 30 mil make a little profit well i put in a body and it sold for like 70 mil and eventually i had a body sell for 99 mil i basically did this the next few hours that night and ended up selling a ton and i mean a ton of these things uh for like anywhere from 35 to 100 mil for each piece I think the main reason that I was making so much money is because I kind of timed it for the perfect spot in the night where a lot of people were going for the tier 70 armor and the tier 70 armor essentially is the armor that you can go and make it into power armor by combining the stuff from the new boss um, the plates from the new boss so what a lot of people were doing was they're like oh I want that power armor but a lot of people just skipped the armor entirely they were just upgrading their weapons uh, and didn't upgrade their armor therefore when they got there and they're like oh I can get power armor now well they needed tier 60 armor to upgrade so they could either go through the process of making all that from tier 10 all the way up to tier 60 and then upgrading it or or they could go buy a tier 60 set and then make it into the power armor and I think that's what a lot of people were doing and how I ended up making a ton of money from this this is the ending screen of uh, one of my last sales which as you can see everything sold uh, it always sold super fast ranging anywhere like I said from 40 mil to 100 mil uh, even sold the offhand lantern that I had just because I was curious if it would sell for a big amount and it sold for like 80 mil which is pretty crazy so uh, safe to say making tier 60 armor and weapons on the first day was extremely profitable now they have kind of gone down in price they're still decently expensive but the difference between tier 50 and tier 60 and 
terms of price isn't that much. It isn't a much to, to make a ton of profit off of. It might still be profitable, but uh, you do, of course, need materials and you have to spend a decent amount of time. So it's still good, but nowhere near as crazy as it was on the first day. But all in all, we ended up with over 1 billion GP. Like I said, the only thing I did was at the start, I bought all those small little candles and things from the uh, shop that you start out of, which cost me like 50K. From there, after the first little bit, I emptied my cash pouch and started from essentially just that 50K and we made it all the way to a bill. So an extra bill made from release and I still ended up getting 62 necromancy. So I'm super excited to continue on, do the new bosses and bring guys more content on this skill so let me know what you want to see with necromancy in the comments hope you guys uh enjoy videos again and uh you know i'm looking forward to hearing from you all and uh can't wait to see you in the next one